Hey there, Pocket Sweet Pro. Welcome to the Scheduling Like a Boss video. Today, I'm gonna go over all of the settings that you need to be aware of and that you need to set um, in order to get your availability just right in the event that you want your clients to just self-serve and book you. One of the greatest things about Pocket Suite is the fact that you can be hands-off. Once you set these correctly, your clients can just look at the times that you're available and book themselves. No more back and forth. Once you log into your Pocket Suite app, go ahead and tap with me in the lower right-hand corner where it says settings and scroll down to where it says scheduling. First thing we're gonna go over is the requires credit card. So these options allow your clients to put a card on file um, for easy booking. So think of it as like the Uber where you just put a card on file and when it's time to check out, there's no fumbling with cards, there's no back and forth and awkward uh, Venmo, is it PayPal? No, it's just tap and charge. Um, so we recommend that you set this to either always or only if priced um, to make that workflow pretty simple. But you also have the option to select don't require. So a question that we get often is what's the difference between always and only if priced? And only if priced is in the event that you offer maybe a free service such as a free consultation or an assessment um, that you do and you don't charge for. Um, if you if you fall into that category and um, you select only if price, then your client will not have to add a card on file if that's the service that they select. Um, always means always and then don't require, they won't require. However, once you set a cancellation policy in the system, the no matter what you put here, the system will automatically be triggered to require a card from the from your clients. And that's because there's no way to enforce that cancellation policy that you set unless they require a card. So the next um, setting to scheduling like a boss is the confirmation status. So this has to do with the booking process. And um, when somebody books a service, um, do they need kind of a confirmation from the other party or is it in black and white on your calendar? So already confirmed means if I schedule, it's on my calendar. If the client goes on my booking link, they see that I'm available, they schedule, it's on black and white on my calendar. Requires confirmation means that you need to get a sign off basically from the other party. So if I schedule a client, they will be sent what's called a quote in their text message. Um, they will look at it, see the price of the service, and have to tap on confirm in order to confirm that that's okay. Same thing, and it works and vice versa. So if they schedule me from my booking site, I will get a message that says that I have a re uh, requested booking, um, and I will have to sign off on it. Requires credit card is similar to already confirmed in that it's black and white, assuming that the client puts a card on file. The next option is the time zone. Make sure that you set that correctly. My hours. So a pro tip here is to um, set this as broad as possible uh, because you can always set blocks uh, later on. What do I mean by that? Well, if you work maybe every other Saturday, go ahead and put Saturday as, a, as available on this part of your calendar. Um, if you work from 10 to three, for example, every other Saturday, just set that here. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set blocks in a minute. The next setting um, is that we're going to look at is the clients can't book beyond. So another pro tip is anytime you see a little box with the words learn more in the center, that is because we either get a lot of questions or there may be a little confusion around that setting. So if you tap right where it says learn more, you'll get an explanation about that setting that opens up. However, if you tap slightly above it, you'll be given options. So clients can't book beyond just kind of limits the, your client's visibility in your calendar. So when they uh, see your available days, for example, do you want them to be able to book you three, four, five months out? Um, or do you want to limit that? So the system automatically kind of defaults to no limit, but you can absolutely change it if you want to. So for example, if you select one month, at any given time, your client will only be able to see 
your availability one month out. Okay, flex time has to do with the time blocks on your calendar. So part of the workflow is that they go on your booking site, they see the days that you have available, and then they see those blocks of time that they can book you for. Um, if you select a flex time, they will see your availability in increments of that amount of time. What do I mean? Well, for example, if it's flex 10, they'll see your calendar in increments of or your time blocks in increments of 10 minutes. So if you work from 9 to 12, you'll, they'll see your available blocks as 9, 9, 10, 9, 20, 9, 30. If you set a flex of 30, they'll see it in that many increments. So um, a 9, 9, 30, 10, 10, 30, and so on and so forth. If you do not set a flex time, then those time blocks depend upon the duration of the service that your client schedules. So for example, if you offer a service that lasts about an hour and a half, they will see those time blocks in increments of one hour and a half. Um, the next is buffer time. So there is an option of no flex plus buffer and we're gonna go to buffer next. Um, buffer is how much time between appointments do you need to prepare for the next one? So these are triggered every time um, your client books you. So in the example before with the hour and a half service, if I have a buffer time of 30 minutes um, and a client books me for an hour and a half, there will be a two hour block on my calendar. So it will respect the one and a half hour service as well as the 30 minute block. Now, when you are done setting this up the way you want, don't forget to hit save in the upper right hand corner so that all of your choices could be um, kind of locked in. Otherwise, it will all disappear, you have to do it again. So those are all the settings that matter in the scheduling section. Um, make sure to watch the next video where we'll cover some more settings that you need to be aware of.